Hello and welcome. I'm Roke Royce back at it again with another reaction video. Up next we've got a song of a true shipwreck that happened in 1975. I am not familiar with the story behind this. Um, the song's called The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald by Gordon Lightfoot. I am now familiar though that this ship was the largest ship to travel across the Great Lakes in North America and I did briefly see that the DJ he sounded like a cool DJ. The captain, he sounded like he was a DJ because he played music over the intercom and everyone was entertained. So that is my kind of captain. Unfortunately, all of the 29 crew that were on the ship that day lost their lives during the, the wreck and the storm. But again, I don't know all the facts. I think this is a storytelling song, so we're gonna hear more about it through the song. Big shout out to you, Jason. Thank you so much for the support and the coffees. Without further ado, let's get into it. And it's a lyrical video, so we can read the words. <laughs> The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. He's got a thick voice. Nice. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? Tattletail sound and the wave broke over the railing. And every man knew as the captain did too. Twas the witch of November come stealing. This imagine. I don't like to be stuck on ships on water. I get seasick. Just imagine though that you're stuck in these high heavy crazy winds and you know this could possibly be the end. The fear, that fright coming over your body. I don't know if these men were, were afraid. They are probably um, aware of what could happen but wow. On this big massive ship. The dawn came also, sorry, I don't know the last time I've really heard a proper storytelling song like this. So this is a nice, different type of song to be listening to. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. Time came, the old cook came on deck saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. At 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in, he said, fellas, it's been good to know you. The 
Captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. And later that night, when his lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. thinking about the wreck of Titanic that is I think of it because that is my favorite movie and that's probably the most famous shipwreck that I know of that most people know of that must have been horrible does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours the searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they'd put 15 more miles behind her. They might, might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Huron Rose Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Sorry, some of these parts that he sings are nice. <laughs> Lake Huron Rose Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Oh, Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. Farther below Lake Ontario Takes in what Lake Erie can send her The iron boats go as the mariners all know With the gales of November remembered In a musty old hall in Detroit, they prayed in the Maritime Sailors' Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. And the legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. have been going through the minds of those 29 sailors during that whole scenario and the line in the song where it says where where does God's love go when the when the minutes turn to hours something like that but or the minutes feel like hours when you're in situations like that or any traumatizing situation anything that's going wrong time just seems to slow down and to just be stuck in those crashing waves for a short amount of time but it feels like almost eternity uh, that must have been absolutely 
absolutely absolutely horrible and then for them to only find them a few days later that was a good storytelling song and I learned some facts from it and just no no I don't want to be on a ship anytime soon the lyrics of the song were deep the sounds of the guitar the chords that were being hit and the delivery of how the song was being sung sounded like the swaying at sea and something a crew honestly would sing at the table with their beers in hand and just having a good time that's not the vibe of the song but the way it was delivered that folklore bit had the spirit of the sea in it let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll see you in the next one until then peace love and party on